When you go skydiving, you don't just keep accelerating faster and faster towards the ground the entire time. In fact, very quickly, the force of gravity going down is balanced by a force of air resistance pushing up. Now, you can actually graph your vertical velocity versus time, and in just the first few seconds after you jump out of an airplane, you'll find that even though your vertical velocity is getting faster and faster, it'll eventually kind of level off and you reach this maximum speed that we call your terminal velocity. Now, skydivers can can change the amount of air resistance that their body encounters, right? They can kind of tuck their body in or they can dive towards the ground and you get less air resistance, which means you go faster, right? So you can actually control the terminal velocity you reach by changing something like the angle um, that you're attacking the air, angle of attack. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't go skydiving that often. In fact, I've never gone, but in Fortnite, we can go skydiving over and over and over again, and we can even try lots of different angles of attack. Now, I've created an experiment in Fortnite that actually allows us to measure the terminal velocity of our player while they're skydiving in just those first few seconds right after they jump. In fact, I've created this like velocity versus time graph so that you can actually check and actually measure your terminal speed, your terminal velocity, right off of the graph inside Fortnite. So in this experiment, we're gonna see how our angle of attack, our dive angle, impacts the terminal velocity of a player while they're skydiving inside Fortnite. And the goal here is really to see whether the game designers of Fortnite have programmed in realistic air resistance or not. I mean, it could be that they just made air resistance the same, regardless of how your player is diving. And so we're actually gonna be able to go in and measure that and see how realistic uh, the air resistance is in the game. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna do multiple dives off this platform at different angles of attack. And for each of those, you're gonna measure the terminal velocity that your player reached uh, with that particular skydive. Now I've provided you with a data collection sheet so that you can record your observations and even make a graph of how the terminal velocity depends on the dive angle. Now my hope is that you can get into Fortnite and actually do this skydiving yourself and collect that data, but if you don't have access to Fortnite, I've also provided you with a data collection video that's linked here at the bottom of this video. You can use that video to collect a variety of data points that will allow you to complete this lab as well. At the end of the lab, you'll find an optional extension activity that invites you to design your own experiment to explore how gliders might impact the air resistance of someone while they're skydiving, right? As you probably know, Fortnite has tons of different gliders. And it's not clear to me whether those gliders have different air resistances or whether they're the same. So I'm hoping you can design an experiment to actually answer that question yourself. All right, I hope you have a ton of fun with this lab and that you're able to answer once and for all whether air resistance is accurate inside Fortnite skydiving.